Whistler real estate sales activity in the first half of 2021 was consistent with what we saw in the second half of 2020. The total number of sales per month continued to exceed the longer term trends, but the pace of sales slowed as the end of June approached. This is mostly due to the historically low number of active listings, which means a lack of choice and maybe even a perceived lack of value for money in the eyes of current buyers. We expect the number of active listings to remain low for the balance of the year, and with the relaxing of the pandemic restrictions and the expected Canada-US border reopening in the next few months, buyer demand will definitely increase. Multiple offers and short days on market will continue to be the reality for buyers and sellers in Whistler straight through to next year. The luxury market in uh, 2021 has continued uh, to be very strong. Uh, definitely, we've seen positive effects from COVID uh, as the affluent and wealthy just seem to get back to what's important, which is family, health, wellness. Uh, resort real estate has, has definitely benefited and Whistler uh, is like nothing I've seen in my 30 plus years selling luxury here. Um, give you an example of just numbers, 2021, um, they're actually the last 14 months, uh, we've seen $45 million plus sales in Whistler. Uh, to give that some uh, comparison, 2019, we only saw nine sales over 5 million. So uh, it definitely has, uh, has impacted our market. Um, looking forward, uh, we feel the border opening uh, will definitely be a positive impact. Over the last few months, our phase two market, also known as the hotel condo sector, such as the Delta, Pan Pacific, Weston and Four Seasons, has seen strong demand from our regional buyers. This is a great property to get into the market and enjoy an ease of life type property. With occupancy and tourism increasing, we expect revenues to increase just like they were back in 2019. The Whistler commercial market has been quite resilient over the last 12 months. We are now seeing office spaces and personal service units lease up. The Village Stroll still sees a few remaining commercial parcels left, although with business increasing and tourism resuming, we're expecting this being a great time for operators to secure their space in Whistler. Now, turning our attention up Highway 99, Pemberton has continued its hot streak, and I'm not just talking about the recent weather. Buyers are still flocking to Pemberton, where you can buy homes for less than half the price of Whistler. Now, we class Pemberton as a micro market, mainly because market activity in Pemberton is driven largely by the small amount of listings that are offered for sale. This gets amplified when the number of active listings are at historically low levels as we are today. Single family homes and building lots accounted for over 50% of all activity in the area in the first half of 2021. There's also incredibly strong interest for the lower priced condos and townhomes, but the extreme lack of active listings in that segment dramatically limits the number of sales and spikes prices. We certainly don't expect this to change much as we move through the rest of the year.